everyone, I'm Dark, and this is the Dark Huntress Experience. As you know, we are here to share some stories and talk about things you might or might not hear elsewhere, but it's more fun to listen to it here. As always, I have my co-host, Dominic, and our production manager, Alex, on standby to jump in when we do or don't need any comments from her. Mainly don't, but she still jumps in. Wow, we just started with the low blows today, Dark. Damn it, shit. I don't even know if I want to participate in this episode. You might come for me next. Nope, I can't do this. I'm out. I'll see you guys next week. I know how to come back at Alex, but not Dark. Stop it. I don't say anything when you two argue like cats and dogs during the intro or take low blows at each other. I let you go on and on. But when I do it, it's a problem. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. Did she just... Yep, and that's a damn lie. You always tell us to stop, so it's our turn to ask you to stop and introduce the show properly, ma'am. All right, find retake number two. Welcome to the Dark Huntress experience. I am Dark Huntress, and this will be a very monotone episode because Alex and Dominic want me to behave. They are both hypocrites, and I know there are two people out there who can do their jobs better. Is that better, or should I continue? Not even a little bit better, but I'm getting a little scared of you. So let's keep going. (laughs) That's what I thought. I'm Dominic. I am ready to share some exciting stories. What about you, Alex? How are you today, my dear? I'm doing wonderful today. Thanks for asking, Dominic. Has anything interesting happened with either of you guys? Anything fun happened after the Valentine's Day fiasco? Any sex? No, nothing has happened. We have remained friends. We are friends first, and then if something happens, it happens, but we won't rush it. I agree. We're not going to rush into it. We are just going to take it one day at a time. What about you, Alex? Have you met someone new? No, I haven't met anyone new. But I found this article interesting as I was getting waxed the other day. I thought it would be something we need to talk about. Do you still get Brazilian waxes? I thought you stopped because it hurt. I heard it's a motherfucker to get them done. Yes, I still get them because I like a nice lickable canvas. She said lickable. Gag. Fuck you, Dominic. Fuck you right back. See, you two can go at it. But if I try it, then you are scared of me. It's because we are scared of you, Dark. Not in you can beat our ass. Well, yeah, you might can, but when you're upset, you are scary. You two are so mean to me. I'm not a scary person. No, you are not a scary person. Unless you do that frown and look of disgust when someone pisses you off, then it's like you could break them in two with the snap of your fingers. Whatever. I'm not scary. So, Alex, waxing, go ahead. Uh, She's giving us the the middle finger, Alex. It's funny because the viewers can't see it. I know, it's cute when she's angry. Did you just take my picture? Yep, and I'm downloading it to Patreon for everyone to see. (laughs) You better not. Delete it and keep going with your story. I'm not going to delete it, but... Shut up, go now. She is so pushy, but we like her that way. All right, moving on. You asked me about the pain. If your pain tolerance is low, you can try either some numbing cream or taking pain medicine before you go. Sometimes this helps alleviate the pain. Hey, Dominic, have you ever gone and gotten any waxing done, you know, in the booty hole region? Why, damn, Dark, you are going all out today. You're asking about, you know what I like this side of you, Dark. You know, keep this side. I like this side. I love this side. This side of you is terrific. To answer your question, yes, I've gotten waxed. And yes, I've had it waxed all the way up to my booty hole, as you called it. I like to be clean for wiping purposes. I don't get waxed as often as I used to. I'm letting the little forest grow, but I keep it trimmed. It's immaculate, and I like it that way. Hey, Dark, our lovely host. I have a question for you. Oh, God. I knew he was going to ask me. Go ahead, Dominic. Do you you have a bush now, or do you keep it clean, or have you ever gotten waxed? No, I've never gotten a wax before. I heard it's excruciating, but I want to try it. At the moment, I am growing a little bush because nobody goes down there, so I don't really keep it cut. Hey, Dominic, you must go through the jungle to get to the treat. Are you okay with that? Mara, I said before, I don't mind. I would do it with no hesitation, and I hope it's a rainforest because I like getting a little rain on me as I wade through the jungle. And just like that, that's the end of our show, guys. 
Have a wonderful day and I will see you next week. No, ma'am. Uh, we have something to talk about, but in seriousness, this is your, like, you know, your trigger warning listeners. We'll talk about something that is not very graphic, but the topic could be a little triggering for some people. You, uh, so Alex, w- what happened and what did you discover when you were getting waxed? You probably have heard or haven't heard, but this mom who lives in Memphis let her five-year-old daughter wax women. Let me say this again. This disgusting human let a child wax grow naked adults. Oh, I've seen that one earlier. Her name is Jasmine Moss, and she let her five-year-old wax the Cody cats of over 20 grown women. Fucking disgusting. What the actual fuck is wrong with people? Why would this woman do that? And I need to know what happened. What was going through her head? What was the process of her thinking that was okay? Now get this. She claims that she was passing down a trait to her five-year-old child. I think it's absolutely disgusting because I did see some of the video. The thing is, is that this woman was letting her child not only see the over 20 grain women's vaginas, but this child was doing this with her bare fucking hands. Well, I doubt that they have children's latex gloves because children shouldn't be doing anything that requires them to wear gloves and especially waxing female vaginas. What the hell is wrong with you? I don't understand why this woman thought this was a good idea. I'm not agreeing that this child should be waxing anyone, but if you allowed this to happen, why not the arms? Why not the legs? Why not the little hairs on the toes? Why did she have to jump right into vaginas? As a man, I am disgusted with this. I cannot picture a five-year-old boy coming up to my wood whacker saying, hey, sir, I'm your waxer today. I would have been out of that place before he blinked. The point that the woman allowed her child to do it was disgusting in itself. The 24 women who were waxed disgust me even more than the mother who allowed the child to do it. What the fuck were you thinking? What the fuck were you all thinking about letting a five-year-old see your cootie cats? There are so many diseases out there that I am terrified that like, that this little girl could have touched one of one of these clients and got herpes. This girl could have caught something from these women because not everybody is clean. And I don't mean you went and took a shower clean. I'm talking about STD clean. I am more aggravated by the women who allowed it. Let's, I don't know what to say. I would have walked in and a five-year-old walked up to me ready to wax. And I would have called the police on the spot. I almost can't talk about this because I can feel how angry I am because it's downright disgusting and I they should go straight to jail. I understand your anger. So, Alex, what happened to the mother? Wait, she's not a mom, not behaving like that. Did she get arrested? Please tell me she has. Yes, she did. She got arrested on February 21st, 2024. Thank God for that. She was accused of child abuse and neglect. I don't think that's enough. I think she should be charged with more. And what sickens me is that her lawyer is sitting there talking about how I need to see the video because I need to make sure this is what they are charging her with. He said what they are charging her with doesn't fit what she did. He's claiming the child wasn't harmed. You are shitting me, right? That lawyer did not say that. I cannot believe that a lawyer would think that a five-year-old child looking at someone's privates is not child abuse. I know physically the child hasn't gotten hurt yet. Again, this child could have gotten so many STDs from touching them with no gloves, but she was severely abused mentally. Does her lawyer have um, any children if he does take them away and start to fucking investigate him? Like, why the fuck do you think that a child looking at someone's naked body is not child abuse? It's absolutely disgusting. And when they charge her, not if they fucking charge her. I want those 24 women that were getting their vaginas waxed by a five-year-old child to be locked up also. I can't believe that I'm saying this, so I have to repeat it, clearly. So everyone understands how dangerous this was. 24 women let a five-year-old child touch their vaginas, opening up their vaginas to get hair off the lip of their vaginas with no gloves on, and touching their body secretion is nasty as hell. If nothing legally happens to those 24 women, Internet, do your thing, and somebody better drop some names and pictures of these bitches because people need to know how disgusting they are. Not only should the mom be put in jail, those women should be put in prison. And the fucking lawyer, I know some lawyers are supposed to take cases like this. Still, I guarantee you that if this motherfucker had walked into my office and I saw the picture or video floating around on the internet, I would have immediately said no because I would be in court declaring this bitch guilty. 
I would be the first lawyer to turn on my own client because it's just revolting. It is revolting. Um, So I saw a lady on TikTok talking about this issue. She asked an interesting question and I want you to answer it and see if you think the same as I do. All right, shoot. What's the question? She said that people should stop putting all their personal information on the internet because of what happened with this child. Do you agree with her? I'm going to absolutely disagree with her. Let me tell you why. If people stopped posting their personal information and personal things they do privately on the internet, they would not get caught. Imagine this. This child would have kept waxing, probably caught a disease, probably got hurt, or probably got molested if it kept happening. What if she had moved on to men and nobody would have said anything and this child, not knowing this is abuse, would have kept doing it? So no. Don't stop posting your personal information. Don't stop posting your private photos and videos. Keep posting that shit. We want to see it. I agree with you, Dominic. Keep posting your stuff on the internet. Guys, everybody posts their personal things on the internet. And let us see because we want to find out who you are and the dirty, nasty shit you are doing. So to the lady on TikTok, whoever you are, I respect your point, but I can't entirely agree with it. I feel that people should still post their stuff because that's how stuff will get out. This is a clear case of child abuse and child neglect. This child could have been sweeping the floor. She could have washed some towels and sat at the counter answering the phone. No, you jumped her right into cootie cat waxing. Who the fuck thinks that was okay? Well, actually, a few people thought it was okay. And sadly, I can't find the post anymore. They probably took it down because they got a lot of backlash. Some people were like, oh, that should be okay. She's teaching her a trade. Oh, that's okay. Go queen. Grow your queen up to be a queen. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. If you think this is okay, please message me Dark or Dominic. Let us know if it's okay so we can block your punk ass. That's right. Send us those messages. Let us know if you think it's okay. What we're going to do is keep following this story and see if there's an update soon. I do know she went to court today, and again, the lawyers were talking about all this dumb bullshit about him not seeing the actual photo or video, and he needs to see it first. One thing I'm going to say is that I hope she gets time in jail. I hate to say it, but I hope her child gets taken away and put somewhere safe, but not in the system. I don't want her to be lost, but I want her to be somewhere safe. And again, if you think this was not child abuse, then you are as dumb as the mom. So dark. What do you think we should do about things like this? It's so hard to think about putting a child in that situation. First, I want to say this. I just looked online and guess what I saw? This child was working for almost 10 to 12 hours a day, which violates the labor laws of any child. Now, if I had a salon and a five-year-old child who probably wasn't in school yet, my baby would be sweeping the floor. I would probably even have her answering the phones with me, listening to ensure she answers the questions correctly. I would not have her in there for 12 hours, though. For example, you gotta do what you gotta do if you are a single mom, not saying she is. I don't want to speculate on her living conditions. You have a point, but where is the dad? Did he know this was going on? Was he working? If not, why wasn't she home with him? Those are good questions, but maybe she had to take the baby with her. If you have to take your child to your workplace and she needs to be there for 12 hours, she needs to have a place away from the clients and especially away from naked people. She needs to have an iPad, do her homework or sitting somewhere watching TV. Working 12 hours a day is not fair to a child. She needs to be a child. As for stopping this situation, we need to keep having social media expose these perverts and expose these predators. Again, I hope that those 24 women are also brought to trial. Alex, what do you think? I fucking agree. I think that this child should not have been working 10 to 12 hours. Like you said, this child should not have been seeing any private parts. If you are not going to undress in front of your daughter, why would you do it in a salon and let her see other people naked? Well, I think that people should keep posting stuff because that means they're going to post dumb stuff. And they're going to slip up like she did and it's going to get out. Once it does, people can take action and protect those children who can't protect themselves. Dominic, any last words? Before he speaks, I have to say this. People don't come for us talking about why you are sexualizing this. She was waxing. Yes, she was waxing. But what was she waxing? You guessed it, a sex organ. An organ used for sex. If you can't get that, 
Then, like Alex said, you are a dumbass. Do you not know how many dirty people go to get waxed? Grown-ass women talking about they just got off from work or they were out shopping and have shit on their asses. And it shouldn't matter to the person waxing them. Why would you want your baby to see or touch that? It's hard enough when other grown people have to go through this dirty shit. And yes, it's dirty. If you don't have time to go home and shower, at least go in the bathroom and wash down, take some toilet paper and wipe your ass. It's not that hard to be clean and have good hygiene people. Good point. I'm not talking about the hygiene of every woman, but I I know a few women who I've started to go down on and I had to stop because of a smell or I clearly see shit on them or the smell is not clean. There's a difference between body musk and sexy musk and, and you haven't washed your ass for five days. If we have been working out or shopping all day and I come home and want to fuck before showering, I'm not expecting you to smell like you just showered, but I do know the difference. That's gross. If I'm not clean, I'm not going to let you between my legs. I sweat just like any other human, but I shower at least once a day, and I've heard many people don't do that. Yeah, that's really gross. People get your ass in the shower daily. It only takes two seconds. And make sure you use a towel. Letting the water run down your body isn't cleaning yourself. Anyhow, I'm just going to regurgitate what you guys said because we always get off topic. That we do. It's who we are, but go ahead. The child should not have been doing that. A child should not have been working 12 hours, and the internet is incredible when it needs to be remarkable. This, in this case, is awesome. This is the type of internet research and internet sharing that we need so we can get these people put in jail. I hope this child doesn't remember because I know that things like this can be remembered for a long time and cause a lot of harm in the future. Can you imagine this child one day looking at the news or the paper or anywhere and seeing that her mom went to jail because she let her see the woman's privates at this age. If you think it might be wrong, don't do it. And for the women who sat there and let this girl wax you, I hope that you go under the jail. So guys, this has been the Dark Huntress experience, and I want you to know that please be careful out there. Always protect your child and people who can't protect themselves, especially children whose dumbest parents can't protect them like they are supposed to be protected. I'm not saying that this woman was a bad mom as a whole. She probably was the best mom in the world to this child. She just made the dumbest decision, thinking that it was okay. I want to hear her in court explaining why she felt it was okay. It's almost as if you don't see that that's an innocent child. And yes, as an innocent child, they should be able to look at a naked body and not know what they're looking at and not see them as any different than a person with clothes on. Still, we want to keep those children innocent innocent, if you know what I'm saying. I want to thank everyone who tuned in this week. I'm Dark Huntress, and I hope to see you all next week for more fun and exciting stories. You guys, I'm going to say that I really hope that you can protect these children. There is nothing more in this world that I want to save than animals and children. Animals and children need to be protected from these monsters. These predators These people who prey on them for their own enjoyment, and before you come for me, I am a vegetarian and have been for the last 10 years. I'm just trying to get these two on the road to becoming vegetarians as well. Nope, not going to happen anytime soon. Nah, not even if you paid me. You two suck. (laughs) (laughs) One day, you might become vegetarians. Anyhow, children are not here to be your slaves. Children are not here to be sexually abused. Children are not here to do things that adults should be doing. Children should have a child's life and know what a child's life is like. If you don't know how to care for children, don't have them. Get stopped, take pills, wear condoms. You can do that if you are not fit to be a parent. That's all I have to say about this matter. I am Alex. I love you guys and I will see you all next week. I don't know how to say it. How do you have children with a person with common sense and stop having children with these people whose IQ is lesser than a snail? I want these children to be safe. I would like for this world to be safe. And you know what? It's not going to be safe because the mindset of people in this world today is so fucking corrupted and corroded that common sense has been thrown out the window. The number of people who said that was okay makes me sick. But if you can, please protect your child. Talk to your child and make sure to protect yourself as well. We can make this a better world. 
This was an, uh, an interesting topic today, and I can't wait to see the outcome of this case. I will see you all soon. I'm Dominic. You are all wonderful. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. See you next time. I'm out of here. Love you all. Hello, fabulous listeners of the Dark Huntress Experience podcast. We just want to give you all a massive shout out for being a part of our incredible podcast community and for tuning in to our episodes. Your support is what fuels our passion and keeps our podcast going strong. If you're enjoying what you hear and want to help us continue creating awesome content, you can show your support in a few ways. You can hop over to Patreon, where you'll unlock exclusive perks like unofficial couples therapy sessions, exciting giveaways, and more. If Patreon isn't your thing, no worries. You can also support us through Apple subscriptions on Apple Podcasts. Be sure also to check out the description for additional goodies like part two of episodes, product suggestions, and other fun stuff. And don't forget to follow us on TikTok, YouTube, and other social media platforms to stay connected and catch all the latest updates. Whether through Patreon, Apple subscriptions, or simply listening and engaging with our content, your support means the world to us. It's what keeps us motivated and inspired to keep bringing you fresh and entertaining episodes. Again, thank you all for being a part of the Dark Huntress experience journey. We're so grateful for each and every one of you. We can't wait to continue this adventure with you. And we'll see you next week for another exciting episode. Until then, take care and keep being awesome. <laughs>